Volleyball has been around since 1895, but has come a long way since then. It was originally designed for people who wanted to play a sport that was like basketball, but less physical contact. Currently, the sport is played collegially at universities and professionally in the Olympics. One of the most popular options for volleyball courts is synthetic flooring. It is cost effective and provides good grip for players. There are multiple lines on a volleyball court. The baseline or end line is the line players stand behind before serving the ball. Balls that land outside of this line are considered out of bounds. The attack line divides the front and back row players. The center line is just below the net in the middle of the court. The red and white antennas attached to the net helps determine whether the ball passes the net inside of these poles. There are six players on each side of the net with three in the front and three in the back row. The games are usually played best three out of five sets with each set going to 25 points. Each point is started with one player from a team serving the ball onto the other side of the court. The team that wins the point during play gets to serve the ball to start the next point. Each team has a libero or a defensive specialist who wears a different uniform than their other teammates. This player is not allowed to serve the ball or move up to the front of the line. They must stay in the back. A setter is a player who sets the ball for the hitter who will make the attack. An attack occurs when a player aggressively hits the ball onto the opponent's side of the court with hopes of making a kill. The setter is usually in the back of the left row near the outside hitter on the court. The middle blockers block the ball from entering their side of the court. They usually stand in the middle of the front row. A dig occurs when a defensive player passes the attack made by the opponent. Usually a player must get low to the floor to make this play. There are multiple referees that play different roles during gameplay. The referee that stands on an elevated platform is usually the one who is in charge. A line judge stands diagonally to another line judge on the court and is in charge of determining whether the ball is in or out. A ball touched hand signal by a referee is made when a player touches a ball before it goes out of bounds. A quick mopper is an employee who wipes a spot on the court where a player either slid or landed when making a play. They must be fast but also be able to get their job done effectively. During set point, fans stand and hold one finger up to indicate the team has one point remaining in order to get 25 points and win the set. At the end of the game, players from both teams meet at the net in order to shake hands and show sportsmanship. The end of the game also presents opportunities to interview the players. I met up with Lainey Van Treese, the outside hitter for the team, after the game, and this is what she said. Volleyball. You know, I started playing the sport when I was about 10 years old, and ever since then, it's been a huge part of my life, but it's come with a lot of ups and downs. You know, I've changed positions, I've played, I've not played, I've done it all, and... So being able to carry that into my life and how I live and like the lessons that I've learned has been really important and it makes me love volleyball even more.